Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here back with more Let's Play Alundra, and we're here at the save room, uh, outside the save room, and we can exit now on just, you know, money. Why not? So, uh, I actually went back and got one of the strength tonics, the room with the five, really long, narrow room, five, uh, lizard statues that will spawn infinitely. I just ran past it the first time. Uh, yeah, I went there, got that. That's really all we need. Alright, so, speaking of lizard statues that spawn, what we want to do is run through this, because all of these are going to activate, and then get in between them to do that, and one spell managed to take them all out. And that's what we were aiming to do. Um, this place, however, not as much fun. Because we have to destroy the statues, and then we have to destroy the enemies. Uh, and it gets fun because the... I really dislike the, uh... The spear enemies, because they have just a ridiculous... Dodge proc. It's just... Not fun. And then you've got the the sword wielding guys who are just a pain. However, that one spear thrower not really into the whole throwing spears. All right. Well, you're dead, and we didn't really take that much damage. I was expecting more. Then once everyone's dead, the stairs over here open up, and we can go down. And then from here, we have a room full of enemies that we can really, literally, just skip. Just skip that. Go in here. This section is going to require the iron orb. And we have a switch that summons a platform. And then, guess what? We've got a switch that summons another platform. And then we have to not fall into the spikes to get on the second platform. And I, this is one of those things that I was thinking about, the timing thereof. Like, the timing for this seems like crap. <laughs> could, could you guys have done a little bit better with the timing for those things? Speaking of things that are just poorly designed, this room here, you have to swim across but it's really kind of pixel perfect. So you might as well just consign yourself to taking a hit and going through there. Which I kind of feel is poor uh, design. Speaking of poor design, trying to get back up there. And we have a rock. And we've got a gilded falcon here. In order to get rid of said rock, what we actually need to do is jump over here and hop on the switch. And I am just crap with the controls again today, but thankfully that's all we have to do precision-wise. And then we have, we have this. I really don't want to do this. I really dislike this section. And I screwed up. Fantastic. So, oh well, it wasn't too bad. Uh, uh, come on, really? <sighs> Again, with the precision. Alright, so we have to destroy that statue. And doing that makes us free as a bird, except now I'm out of magic. I hate being out of magic. I mean, we could go back to the save point. I probably will go back to the save point, because I think we have to pass by it one more time before hitting the boss floor. So, alright, and again, consign yourself to taking a hit. I mean, there are ways to get around that. I've seen it. It's doable. It's just frustrating as all hell. And then we have this section, which will heal all of our HP, but not our MP. 
And then we have... Uh, we have this, which is just why they have an infinite uh, HP restore here. Because trying to get through this section is just a bore. Alright, yeah, I know. I refilled all of my... I hate the buttons, too. One button... Uh, is confirm. One button is confirm in another fashion. And so if you want to actually get out of a menu, you have to press different buttons. It's just, it's, it's, I don't know. I can keep this. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on back this way. I don't technically have to kill him, but it makes getting back through here a little bit easier. And I kind of wanted to save magic for this, because this section sucks, but... Alright, so... Are you effing kidding me? I'm trying to hit the crack in the wall, but apparently... Again, depth perception is a thing that just really sucks in this game. And if you get too close to the wall, it'll constantly tell you, there's a crack in the wall that looks like it can be exploded. Like, thank you for the status update. Alright, and so we have a whole bunch of bad guys that come out through there. And really, this is where I, I learned that if you really just kind of hold still... You can deal with a ton of them as they come near you with the sword. And... I'm almost done. I've got almost all of the sword wielders. The spitty guys are going to be the next problem. They are just a pain. But remember, there is a HP restore point right outside here, so... Uh... Not anything to worry. Don't have to spend all of your uh, health items here. I hate all of you. Now come here. Why are you running away from me? You bring dishonor among your clan. And that's it. That like, why did the the why did that fall from the sky? Why none of that made sense. That was just a whole lot of why. And I'm only one point away from being at full, so that's fantastic. But I need to switch back to this, because I need to summon these. And getting back is so much easier, because again, the timing makes so much more sense for those than it does for ours. Alright, or for the way originally through. You guys know what I mean. You, you're you you're following me. You're, you're with me on this one. Alright, these guys will respawn, so I'm just gonna skip them, because nobody cares. They, however, do not respawn, which makes me exceptionally happy. Alright, so we're gonna go back to the save point. We're going to save it. We're gonna refill our HP and MP, because... Um, I actually think the easiest way to get to the door that we need to is through this way. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. But we will save it as well so that I don't have to do any of that stuff again, because screw that. Alright, I know you're examining the parchment. Can we examine a little bit faster? Yeah, I really don't like the the, the menu except and a, like confirm uh, system for this game. It, it just seems very eh. Alright, so yeah, let's go this way. We'll go this way to... We are now headed toward the boss. So we can just... Uh, and there will be an HP restore right before the boss because this dungeon seems to be very generous with the replenishing of HP, whereas other dungeons that we've been in up until this point are not. Alright, so that's where I got the, uh, the strength potion, so I really could have just waited to come back here, because I would have been passing by here anyway. 
But we go down here and... That unlocks that section. That's the HP restore I was just commenting on. And now... We are at the boss. I'm actually going to switch to the sword. This boss... Blows. I do not like this boss at all. Giant lizard. But he's not the problem. He that threads, treads foolishly into the sacred keep shall reap the pain of a thousand crushed souls. Alright, so... The problem is that there are... Starts off with six statues. And... Four of them cannot be destroyed. The other two in the center can be. And... Uh, other than that, uh, we are kind of at a eh moment. I'll use that to heal me, because that actually will help a little bit. Um, and then we'll just stick to uh, uh, medical herbs. The only advantage to this fight being the way it is, is killing the, uh, the fodder enemies can and will give you health. However, really, the fact that they will spawn infinitely because of those statues that cannot be destroyed, uh, it's just obnoxious. And then the boss will go into some sort of, like, stone mode, which I don't know if that will heal him if he, he stays in it too long, but he'll start getting this weird aura around him. So, and like all giant bosses, when they do a giant ground pound, they w can and will stun you. See, that, I think, I think that heals him a little bit, so you don't want him to do that. However, on the upside, the ground pound can and will uh, stun his little minions as well. And that's it. I took a ton of damage, but thankfully it was, you know, contained with medical herbs, which means I can just go buy a, a metric ton of those. So, defeated Reptilicus Maximus. So, yeah, that's the boss of this dungeon. Which apparently leads us to this person. I see it's all become crystal clear. You are the releaser, Alundra. And so we meet another one of the the gurus, the sages, the wise men, the wizard. Uh, one whose inner strength and resolve is as potent as yours is a rare find indeed. If you have resolved to fight to the death, you may be able to challenge Melzus himself. Jeel, hear my words, Releaser. I have come to be known as Jeel. Uh, also one of the seven guardians. Okay, guardians. That's their title. Guardians. I was a metalsmith who sought to understand the mysteries of life. To stop the evil present in the mortal realm, I sacrificed my human form and vanished into time. I have given thought to trusting the light of your soul to say... Okay, so, that's good. Thanks for trusting me. You must bear in mind that to defeat Melzes is to ris risk the end of reality itself. That's... That's dark. And so, this guy apparently has some connection to these lizard men. I don't know. So we come over here, and we get the fire scroll. And I can't show it off, because I don't really have any magic. So, that's kind of eh, but... And then we also get... the sapphire crest. You'd think this would be where the ruby crest is. You know, fire, ruby... Guy's color was primarily red. I I don't I don't know. I'm I guess I'm reading a bit much into it, but step on that and we refill all of our HP. We got the Gilded Falcon, we got the Life Vessel, those were the only two real treasures here. Everything else was just kind of eh. And we come out here in this godforsaken room. This place is just full of oozes. Which will just sit here and take up your time. And I'm 
losing health, which is frustrating. Because I keep taking stupid pot shots. And on the other side is a, uh... Uh, I believe it's a medical herb in that treasure chest. So, I'll get that. And then we are done with this dungeon. Ah, oh, really? And I want the money. And you're all dead. The only problem is these guys will come back if you leave the room. And, yeah, just a medical herb. So, yay. That was pointless. Yay. And we hop up here, and this takes us out. Which means we can now go back to the village. And that's actually where we need to go now, is back to the village. And cut down some bushes, maybe find some health on the way back, because, you know... Oh, there we go. <laughs> We're done. Alright, so, just head back to the village. Uh, there's another dungeon uh, segment laying in wait for us. So, we'll go get the dialogue for that uh, out of the way, and just keep going. So, really wish I had some magic to show off what the Fire Scroll does. Fire Scroll seems rather eh to me. And we're greeted at the gate by Jess. I have news. Bad news, of course. What other kind is there around here? Giles ha is the latest victim of the nightmares. Though he was not a friend of yours, you should try to help him anyway. It would be a shame if he were to return uh, to Megascar permanently. Or prematurely, rather. Uh, what is... Magiscar? I must be getting senile. According to legend, everything is created and destroyed there. There's both the Alpha and the Omega. We come from Magiscar when we are born, and we go there when we die. Oh, it's north of the village, near the... So it's an actual place where... Like, is this where newborn babies come from? And then when you... Like, none of this makes any sense to me. But, you know. Okay. So, let's go and... So we know Giles is the next victim. We're going to go restock on all of our medical herbs. I'm going to save it. And that'll be the end of this episode. Because I don't want to start Giles' as, uh... Uh dream just yet, because I have not finished doing research on it. Because it, like all the other dream sections, they are full of uh, missable things. So, if you miss something, that's, that's the end of it. So, I don't want to miss anything. So, I want to make sure I've got all of my notes as to where everything is. Go from there. And we are now stocked up on everything. We have a new scroll, we've got our cape, our bombs, our wonder essence. We've got a hunter's bow, which is next to useless. It's just such a silly bow, it's so pointless. <laughs> Alright, and with that, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna save it, and we'll end this episode. So, next episode we are going to go into Giles' nightmare, see what he dreams about, not exactly comfortable going into his dreams. He's... He seems like that kind of person whose dreams would be... Like, I, I have a feeling LSD would be uh, a, a safer approach in, in terms of uh, experiencing weird crap. So, yeah. I will see you guys in the next installment. So until then, later everyone.